At uh, Sight Sciences, our mission is to transform eye care through really treating the underlying disease states. And what that's done is really led us to a, a uh, focus on two of the largest unmet needs in eye care, that being the MIGS uh, marketplace for minimally invasive glaucoma surgery, but also dry eye disease. What's interesting with dry eye disease is although you can see from this, we, there's a great opportunity. We're all trying to embrace that opportunity. I think when you talk to the dry eye experts, it's a little bit different sentiment. There's a little bit more of it's a dry eye conundrum versus a dry eye opportunity. The solve that we have for that conundrum from Sight Sciences is taking a mindful, methodical approach and using surgical, I'm sorry, using procedural devices to uh, really affect that underlying disease state. You can see here that the marketplace right now is really focused on RX and OTC. Only 4% of, of, uh, of the opportunity here is in the procedure. What's exciting though is the procedures are the fastest growing part of the market, growing at 40%. The opportunity for us again is through this type of procedural targeted approach to the underlying disease state, our uh, solution is the tier care system. And our mission and vision of that tier care system is really to enable all ECPs to treat dry eye disease. The current indication for use is, uh, as it's cleared currently by the FDA, is indicated for the application of heat when heat is recommended for meibomian gland dysfunction, dry eye, or blepharitis. We are looking to uh, continue our clinical work to expand that, that uh, label. Right now, that mindful methodical approach, though, is, is really built directly into the design, a natural blink design. So that, as you can see, it goes on the exterior portion of the eyelids, transfers that heat targeted to all of the meibomian glands, liquefying the meibom, then engaging an ultra-precise meibomian gland clearance tool proprietary to this system to ensure that you get the clearance, you get that restoration effect of the meibomian glands, and also featuring a first-of-its-kind smart system, continual conversation, communication between the eyelids and the, uh, the, smart, uh, the smart lids and then the, the smart hub as well. To introduce you to all of the components, there are some reusable components, some disposables on the uh, charging nest and the smart hub, which is the, the intelligent portion of the, the device that, that controls the heat to the smart lids. Those are reusable, rechargeable. Uh, we also have the clearance assistant proprietary to the system, as well as the smart lids, which apply to the exterior portion of the eyelids. Those are both disposable uh, portions of the system. You can see it being applied here to a patient. The intent is for it to be targeted for heat therapy, but from a patient's perspective, to be comfortable, add confidence. They can look at their smartphone, they can read a magazine, they can see who's in the room with them, having a great patient experience. And then the right-hand side, you can see that clearance assistant really doing its job in the hands of the eye care professional to apply the appropriate pressure for that patient to clear those glands and really, again, restore and rejuvenate the, uh, the system. As I mentioned, we're continuing our clinical work as well. The pilot data, which I had an opportunity to share um, at uh, ASCRS this year with the six month data. Um, and we've extended that pilot to 12 month, which I'll be sharing with you here in just a second. But just as a reminder of the study protocol, um, it was uh, preliminary preliminarily to assess the long-term safety and effectiveness of the tear care system. Uh, we reassessed it at six months. It is a single center, prospective, randomized controlled trial, 12 subjects in the tear care arm, 12 subjects in the warm compress arm, and then we retreated the original 12 subjects to tear care at the seven month time point. We looked at both signs and symptoms, signs with tear breakup time, the, uh, as you can see, for the first seven months, there was significant increase in tear breakup time compared to the warm compress group. The tear care system group had significant increase. There was some regression of that over time, so we did the retreatment at seven months. Seven months then demonstrated an equal uh, therapeutic effect. Um, again, statistically significant to the original baseline and even has a little bit different slope, if you notice. So really hypothesizing that there's an additive effect to the additional treatment as well. So that's what we saw from signs. We see very similar on the symptom side with OSDI. You'll see the lower is better here. 
Um, so you have the opportunity to improve the OSDI score in the tier care group. It then starts to, as you would imagine, have some, some reduction of effect. At seven months after retreatment, you regain that therapeutic effect and, and impact. So in conclusion, the six months uh, study data was uh, submitted to clinical ophthalmology and is currently in press. We are um, planning on publication of the retreatment 12-month data as well. Uh, it did show that, again, that you had the re um, similar therapeutic effect as you did with the original six months, showing that this is something that can be utilized on an ongoing basis. Uh, we do look forward to moving this into a multi-center uh, randomized controlled trial to uh, get signs and symptoms into the label. And really what we do is we look forward to continuing to do this clinical work. We're excited about it and really continuing to identify and prove that the mindful methodical approach allows the eye care professional to really solve the dry eye conundrum. Thank you. Thank you.